Right, hi everyone. Uh, we're now in wild garlic season up here in uh, Glasgow. Uh, it's just the beginning of March, so I wanted to just quickly show you how simple it is to identify wild garlic. First off, go with your nose. That's the most unmistakable way to identify it. It smells really strongly of garlic. Um, if you have a wee look at the leaf shape, uh, it's broad at the sides and it comes to a point. And if you scrunch it up and smell it, it smells of garlic. Now, sometimes what you'll find is wild garlic, if you look, you can see it grows in clumps. But sometimes you find um, a plant called Lords and Ladies growing beside it, which is quite similar. And that doesn't smell of garlic and that is not edible. So what you need to do when you're foraging and collecting anything is you don't pull up whole um, you know, bunches of plants. What you do is mindfully choose a few leaves from each plant. These are still quite small, so I mean, wild garlic season um, extends, it'll be another four to six weeks yet. So what you want to do is to take individual leaves. Um, and as I said, then you can be absolutely 100% sure what you're looking for. The other thing sometimes is you get bluebells which come up beside wild garlic and it's a different leaf shape. So that's the leaf shape you're going for. It smells distinctly of garlic. Now you find wild garlic really any wooded areas, it grows alongside water a lot of the time, but if you just follow your nose, you can smell it. It is absolutely unmistakable and it is the most fantastic stuff ever. So I'm gonna be sharing lots of recipes of what you can do with your wild garlic.